Yo guys, it's Arcade and today we are gonna make some minimal house. So we're gonna focus on some groovy drum beat, a cool bass line, some melodies, some arpeggios and then some nice ambience in the background and that's gonna be our track. So let's get started with the drums. Set the BPM to 124 and make sure to enable the swing. Never work on house music without enabling the swing. It's gonna make everything a bit more groovy, especially the hi-hats. So to get started I have this simple beat. Just a kick and a clap, so let's put it in. And then I'm gonna also add some pre-shifted claps. Make sure to snap the pre-shifted clap to the grid so it starts properly. Just hold the Alt key while adjusting it and make sure it starts right on the beat. Then we have this. Really simple, but it works. Also, all of the samples that I'm using are from my sample pack, Stable Sounds. I'm gonna talk a bit more about it later. Now, let's add some hi-hats. So as I mentioned before, I have the swing enabled and here are my hi-hat sounds. So I have this open hi-hat, again, from my pack, this closed hi-hat, then another open hi-hat, some shakers, and a closed hi-hat. So to get it all together, we're gonna make this rhythm. But first, I wanna show you a little trick that I use often, is to go to your open hi-hat, go to envelope, enable the envelope, make sure everything is lowered except the sustain and a little bit of the decay. That way you can actually make shorter and longer notes. So if you just press the key for a little bit, you're gonna make a short note. And if you hold it longer, it's gonna play through. So you can sort of play with the open hi-hat and make shorter and longer notes, just like it would be when a drummer plays the hi-hat, each hit is a little bit different. So that's why I make longer and shorter notes in the piano roll, and it sounds like this. So this is the open hi-hat, then we have this hi-hat right at the end, some shakers in between, and it creates this rhythm. So that's the first pattern, but in the second one I add more hi-hats. So you just basically play around with it however you want. Let me show you the difference between the swing and no swing. So with the swing enable it's like this. Really groovy, but without the swing. Everything is right on the beat, which we don't like because it's way better if it's sort of offbeat a little bit. So this is my hi-hat loop. Make sure to play around with it a lot because you really want to get the hi-hat loop right because it's the biggest part of the rhythm. I also added some shakers here as a loop. And then we have this all together. nice groovy beat. One more thing we can add is some percussion. So I went with this sound and I just added here and there. So like this, again with the swing it's already groovy, without it it would be like this, but with it it's like this. So I added here and there in the drum loop, then again later a little bit different, again play around with the rhythm, so just make sure to make it a bit different each time so you have some variations in the song. Then I also play around with the graph editor, so you just select your sample right here, go to graph editor and you can play around with the pitch for example, the pitch goes up here. So that's something you can do from time to time again to make some more variations. So we have this one, we have this one and then just this one. So here's our entire drum loop. So yeah, that's the drum loop. Now let's add another important thing, which is the effects. A lot of people underestimate the effects, but it's actually a really important element of the song. It improves the whole atmosphere of the song and makes it a lot more interesting. So let me show you some of the effects that I'm using, starting with a simple down sweep. So this is a simple down sweep. I also side chained it with a fruity low filter. So you can do side chaining with this. Just turn off the oversampling, turn off the filter and go to volume pattern and create this side chaining envelope. And just make sure to have this on sustain loop end and this one on loop start. And then you just create the envelope, enable it, make sure it snaps to the tempo and you have your side chaining done. And it's sort of like a kickstart plugin or something like that. So it's really simple and works really well. So we have this down sweep, then we have this atmospheric effect. 
also sign chained. And all of these sounds are from my sample pack or my sample pack platform, Staple Sounds, which you can get right now. Use the code Arcade15 to get $15 off. Now, if you buy it, you get access to this sample pack that I'm using in this video, but you also get access to all of the sample packs in the future for free. So this is not just a regular sample pack. It keeps expanding forever. So like FL Studio has lifetime free updates, my sample pack also has lifetime free updates. So once you become a member, you can download this pack and you can download all of the expansion packs, which will be adding more every month. You also get access to a lot of free FLP files, including this one from this video today. So check it out. Link is below in the description. Make sure to use the code Arcade15 and I'll see you there. So I'm using this atmospheric loop. to add a little something to the whole song. And then we have this vocal, which a vocal can make a huge difference as far as atmosphere goes. So I have this vocal right here, and it's basically just this one shot. So I pitched it up by a hundred, so it's in the right key. And then we're gonna put some effects on it. So I have this fruity reverb on it, quite a lot of decay and a lot of reverb and low dryness. So it's sort of in the background. Then we have this. I also sign chained it as well. I also added this structure with distortion, filter and speaker. So it's even more in the background and some delay. And then we have this simple rhythm, just this hit and then another hit right before it. So it's almost like a little vocal chop, but consisting only from two samples. So we have this throughout the whole song and it adds a lot of atmosphere. Then I also have some up sweeps. In FL Studio you can do fading now, so they slowly rise up. And then some short sweeps as well. And more down sweeps. All of these samples are from the Staple Sounds pack, so if you want them, check it out. Now let's preview what we got with the effects. So of course, I only cover the drums and the effects right now. We want the bass, the melodies, the exciting stuff. But you always need to have a good bass for the song, which consists of the drums and the effects and the ambience. So this is it. So it doesn't sound like much, but now it's way easier to add more sounds like the bass and the melody when you have this nice bass happening. So now let's move on to the bass. So here's our bass melody. Really simple melody. In Minimal House, you don't need much. Just stick to the basics. And then we have this variation. Just this higher note right here. So always make sure to do variations just so the listener knows that this is the second repetition and the bass has some sort of a conclusion. So it goes like this. So yeah, really simple, but it works. Of course, I also sign chained it with the Fruity Love filter right here. Same as before. And for the sound, I'm using this essential short bass from my sample pack, which I'm promoting a lot in this video, of course, but I'm really excited I finally released it. So there is actually tons of serum presets in this pack for many genres, so you will definitely find what you are looking for. And here is how the bass sounds with everything else. So really simple bass, but it goes well with the beat. Now let's add the melody. So for the melody, I'm using this flute lead, which also works well as a plug. It's also sign chained and here is the simple melody. So it's almost like an arpeggio. So when making the melody, just make sure to play it with the bass. So you sort of know what notes you can use. So just play the bass. Also, if you don't know how to make melodies, just try using similar notes. So this is like a really simple arpeggio starting on G, just like the bass. 
starting on G. But one thing you definitely want to do in a minimal house is automate some things. So here I'm going to automate the cutoff of the melody. So just go to your serum or whatever you're using. Click on multi-link to controllers, this button right here. Move whatever knob you want to automate. In my case, it's the cutoff. And then right click, create automation clip. So then we'll have our automation clip right here. And I'm just going to go from low to high and automate it like this. <laughs> So it slowly rises up. So you definitely want automations in minimal house, in other house genres as well, but that keeps the listener interested and keeps the song moving. So then with the bass and the melody, we have this. Let me just extend this. So far, so good. But to make this more interesting, I'm gonna add some extra chords. So the sound I'm using here is the synth. Really nice house synth. And I'm just gonna add some filler chords. Again, going with the G chord, because our bass is on G, the melody starts on G, so a chord on G will work well with it. Again, in a minimal house, not much melodic stuff needs to happen. It's more about the sound and how the sound evolves. So we have some chords here in this rhythm like this. And sometimes I cut them short like this. And again, I'm gonna automate the cutoff just like we automated it in the melody. We're gonna do the same here, but it's gonna be way shorter like this. So we can do this sort of effect. So it opens up really quickly. And I'm just gonna put it in between some of the melody and the bass, like this. So it's more like an effect, not like full chords in the song, but more like an effect in the background. And so that's our chords right there. One more thing that I want to add is a completely different melody, an arpeggio, if you will. And that's going to come from this sound, background groove. So I'm also going to enable the arpeggio here. So just go right here, enable the arpeggio like this. And you can change some of the parameters if you want to, like the time, set it to whatever you need. I'm going to do two steps. And then if you press a chord, it's going to automatically turn into an arpeggio. So I created some chords here. So again, sort of following the bass melody. So as you can see, the bass goes from G to A to A sharp, back to G. So I just copied the bass melody into the chords. We can see it right here, G, A, A sharp, G. And then you just add the chords. Well, how do you do that? It's really simple. Just start on the first note, skip two, put a note on the third one, skip three, put a note on the fourth one. And there's your basic chord. And just do the same thing with all of the others. So this is your basic minor chord. If you need to make a major chord, just move the middle note one up. The shape of the minor and major chord is always the same. So just reuse that for every note. So now what do we want to do with this sound? Do some automations, of course. So once again, I automate the cutoff. And here is the automation. So as you can see, it starts low here, then it keeps growing. Then it goes high at the end of the repetition and then back to low. So here is how it sounds. So once again, it adds a lot of movement into the whole song, especially with the automations. So make sure to always do that and play around with it however you want. So there is one more sound that I'm using that I did not mention yet. And it's this sound called GT Acoustic. It's like a hybrid sound, which I included in the sample pack. And this is like a guitar sound, but it almost sounds like a piano as well. So I created the same chords as for the arpeggio. I added them to this sound and it sounds like this. Sort of sounds like a house piano, which I like, so I use that at the end of the song. And that's about it. So now let me show you the whole arrangement and then we're gonna preview the whole song. So here's the whole arrangement. We have the drums right here, starting with the kick and the clap, then moving on to more open hi-hats, percussions and shakers. Then we have the effects, the atmosphere, down sweeps, vocal, up sweeps. Then the bass.
the first melody. And then in the middle, we sort of have a switch to the other melody. So it sounds like this. So we remove the old melody and add the new arpeggio melody. And then at the very end, the piano slowly comes in. And we end it with the piano and the beat at the end. So let's give it some color and have a listen to the finished result. And that is pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check out the sample pack. Link is below. Get the sounds and the FLP file. And I'll see you in the next one.